Hi guys, so next topic natin is about soil properties. So considering meron tayo dito ang uh, soil sample, so a soil is consisting of solids, water, and air. So base dito sa figure, uh, kukunin natin lahat ng formulas sa soil parameters, uh, sa soil prop- properties, okay? So, yung gagawin lang natin, kukuha lang tayo ng isang strip dito. Let's see, ito yung strip na kukunin ko. Okay. So, yan na yung strip na kukunin ko, no? So, yung strip na yan, ilalagay ko yan dito sa kabila. So, let's see, ito yung strip na nakuha ko, no? So, andito yung air, andito yung uh, sa water, tsaka andito yung sa sulit. Ang pangit, ha? Hindi lang, ha? So, bali, andito yung sa air. Uh, andito yung sa water. Man, andito yung sa solids. Okay? So, yun yung strip na kinuha ko. So, para ma-derive lahat ng formulas dito, separate natin yan into two parts. So, we have the volume. So, we have the volume here. We have the volume Then dito sa kabilang side We have the Wait Okay Ting klara yan ha We have the volume We have the weight Okay So Since air and water The, the air The combination of air and water That is void Ibig sabihin, walang laman, no? Kasi sa soil, meron lang tayong solid, tsaka yung void, no? So, yung void ratio, that is assume as, this one, no? This is assume as, E. E. That is the void ratio. Okay? So, void ratio is E. So, ulitin ko, when we talk about void that is combination of air at saka water kaya ito yan no? air at saka water then in solid we just assume that the volume of solid yeah? assumption lang to no? so here we just assume that volume of solid is just constant no? so we have one. Okay? So, we have E tsaka 1. Then, for the water, for the volume of water, this one, that is just the specific gravity times the moisture content. Okay? So, we have the degree of we have the specific gravity the specific gravity which is G. then we have the moisture content is the W no? and this is equal to void ratio times the degree of saturation okay so we have the degree of S okay 
So, yan yung rule lang natin dito sa volume. We have the moist, we have the void ratio, ah, we have the, vo the porosity, the void ratio. Then, just a combination of air and water. Then, we have the volume for water. That is just the specific gravity times the moisture content. Or that is equal to the degree, the void ratio times times the degree of saturation. So we have the gas E1, okay. gas, and then the na, gas E1. Okay. So para masolve natin yung weight, alam natin na uh, yung weight, na kung babalikan natin yung formula for the weight, that is just unit weight times the volume. So yung unit weight depende yan kung ano yung substance na ginagamit. Na? So, for water, so this will be, ilan? So, this will be unit weight of water, yeah? Times its volume. Then, alam natin, volume to, yeah? Volume. So, alam natin na volume to, ito din volume. So, G omega, or this is also equal to density of water, E times S. Okay, klara? So, unit weight times the volume. So, unit weight times this volume. For solid, this will be unit weight of the soil times 1. So, if we convert this soil by specific gravity, you know, specific gravity is uh, unit weight of the substance all over unit weight of the water na? so therefore yung unit weight no substance is just unit weight times the specific gravity so since this so, this is soil so unit weight of the water times specific gravity of the solid part na? times times volume which is one so so far complete na yung uh, figure natin. So, makuha na natin yung mga values ng mga uh, yung mga formula. Na? Yung mga formula. So, considering the void ratio, so, this will be na? So, para makompute yung E, kailangan lang E over 1. That is also E. And E, that is ito yan lahat. Na? Yung E is ito yan lahat so that is the volume of the voids all over volume of ilan uh, ito yung 1 no? so ito yan volume of the solid so volume of void divided by the volume of solid where volume of void that is volume of the air plus volume of the Okay, klara? Klara. Okay. Next, the moisture content. So, para masolve natin yung moisture content, so, we will have, ano ba? Mm. Moisture content. Mm -hmm. Okay, ito, no? So, kung i-divide ko to, dito, so, makukuha ko yung, di ba? Ah, dito na lang ha. So, unit weight, water, gravity, then W, all over unit weight sa water, gravity. This is, si gravity, specific gravity. Then, times 1. So, yung matitira, W na lang, na? So, alam natin ito is weight. No? So, this is weight of the water divided by the weight of the solid. Klaro? Okay. Yan, na? Next is the degree of saturation. So, para makompute natin yung degree of saturation, just ES, yung ito, divided by E. No? So, matitira yung S. And alam natin yung ES, that is 
Ayan, yeah. That is volume of the water. Yeah? All over the E, which is volume of void. Now, okay. So, klaro. No? So, yan na yung uh, degree of saturation of formula. May isa pang uh, property that is porosity. And that is denoted by N. So, yung kaibahan lang nung void ratio at yung porosity is yung N that is kung diba? kung yun dito sa void ratio is naka BS sa porosity that is V total okay so magiging V V over the V total diba? so yun lang yung kaiba nila and para makukuha natin yung formula in terms of V titignan lang natin yung figure VV ito yan eh? volume ng void so volume ng void is volume ng air at water and that corresponds to E and volume total is ito yan lahat ito lahat yan so that is 1 plus E so yan na yung formula for the porosity so I think klaro yan no? klaro na yan so punta tayo dito sa density at uh, saka isa pa yung napakimodanting formula is yung ito the guess So, importante din yung formula na yan. Ha? So, in terms of density, or unit weight, so, basihan lang natin yung general formula for the moist. Uh, maraming pangalan yung moist pwede siya wet pwede din siya bulk pwede din siya total no? so yung formula nya is donated by uh, ym so this is weight total over volume total so alam natin that is weight over volume no? diba? density is just weight over the volume so since yung weight total diba? weight total ito yan no So, we have uh, yeah, ito plus ito yeah, over yung weight kasi yung weight nung air yung weight nung air is ratio mass negligible or zero no? So, kung titignan natin yan, this is the weight of air plus the weight of water plus the weight of uh, solid. And this is volume of air plus the volume of water plus the volume of solid. No? And we all know this, yung ito, this volume of the voids no? and weight of air is negligible so therefore this will be uh, density of water di ba? You know, kukunin natin density of water gs then omega plus so okay na ako dito for the solid ito naman no? kukunin ko yan so why omega gs times 1 all over volume of voids and we all know that volume of s is 1 and volume of voids is shown as e yeah? volume of void is this is a figure huh? so yung ito is yeah? volume of yung volume ng no void is equivalent to e so therefore this is uh, e plus 1 eh hindi kayo malito ha so ang e tawag niyan simplify natin to so may giging ano yan gs 1 plus omega uh, 1 plus w plus 1 plus e 
kaya ito yung formula for the y moist so ayun na na so madiderive na natin lahat ng formula ah uh, bali dito plus E. Okay? So, pwede rin gamitin yung isa. Kung ayaw mo itong gamitin, so, pwede yung isa na Y E S. Na? So, yung magiging itsura niya lang is magiging uh, specific gravity 1 plus E. Oh, hindi ka lang. Mali. Kung muna sa kanila, ito lang pala. Ha? So, magiging G plus uh, SE plus 1 plus E. Minute weight of the water. Okay. Yan na. So, yung dalawang formula is pwede na natin gamitin ito. So, tandaan nyo lang to ha? Weight, total, volume, total. So, for saturated, so, we will have y sat So, that is just equal to I said, no? So, G plus E over 1 plus E Unit weight of the water Since we assume that S is 100% or 1.0 And for dry So, we have Y dry. So, that is G unit with the water. 1 plus E. Because S is 0%. Or that is 0. So, yun na. So, we have also uh, other unit weight that has been used. That is effective. So, we have also the effective unit weight. So, effective unit weight. Dalawa yan, ha? We have Y submerge. And the Y buoyant. So, yung Y submerge or Y effective is for Y moist. So, Y effective that is Y sat minus density of water. And this is the Mm -hmm. This one is dense, uh, effective unit weight, pero dito is naka moist. Na? Moist minus density of the water. So I think uh, ito lang yung deri uh, derivation ng mga formulas na gagamitin natin. So tandaan nyo lang yung figure na to. So yun na yun. No? So continue tayo sa next video na lang kasi medyo mahaba na. Solve natin yung problem na to. Okay? So, thank you.